it's Amanda here from Lolly Lulu Crafts and today we have another storage and crafty stash video for you and today's video is focusing on embellishments. Now it's quite a wide catchment of what counts as an embellishment I would imagine and kind of what I think is included in that category might be different to what you think but I hope you'll forgive me if you sort of think well that doesn't count as an embellishment because at the end of the day really what this is about is just trying to segregate the different sections as best as I'm able so that I cover all the different storage options for all the different kinds of things that we want to store in our craft. So we're going to start off with the shelves that are above my craft desk and as you can see I've got a couple of different types of storage now you've already seen the suitcases I think <laughs> um, but I can't remember the ordering because the way I'm filming them isn't necessarily the order that they're going up so I'm not going to sort of talk about that but if you haven't seen them then you will do soon um, so what we're looking at is the tubs at the top and then the baskets underneath so the tubs up here I'm sorry it's a little bit more wobbly because in order to actually get up to the tubs I've had to go freehand as it were and you're not on any kind of uh, tripod or anything like that you're literally just floating in the air on my balancing with my arm right up high trying to show you this anyway so what we've got here is the kind of things that I don't perhaps use as often with regard to embellishments there is actually two rows of them um, and what I've got here is these great tubs they are um, tubs that I think you can get in something similar in quite different places but this particular ones I got from Hobbycraft they've got a little um, opening there so we've got four and then four behind of these foam shapes and they're really fun um, but they're not something I use a lot of but I do like to keep them and they're just bulky I mean you, you just find that that's a really handy way to store them to be honest and I think it looks really fun and colourful up on the shelf so that's what I've got in there for that sort of thing so then next door is these gorgeous pom-poms I really love those and again a bulky item that um, is just really handy to store and you can get an awful lot and it doesn't matter if they get squished as well and then behind them I've got these super giant gems which are fab and they're great to pop in that sort of thing because it's a really big bag that you can get I got those gems from Hobbycraft as well as it happens so then next door to that I've got feathers and I've got my white lovely soft feathers and then behind that some black ones and then at the front here some gorgeous coloured ones and then behind that sort of multicoloured ones and then on the end here I have got um, one of these jars with the Christmas trees on which I thought was kind of fun and I used I put a yellow lid on it I don't know why perhaps I should have put a, ye a red one on maybe but anyway I've got the yellow lid and in it I've got the lovely what I call snow can you see how pretty that is and then behind I've got a teeny little whoops one just because it fitted actually under the uh, beam there as well and it's just got a few more of the foams in there and they're all safe. Okay so we're back on a tripod so a little bit less seasicky I hope and we're down onto the lower shelf and on this shelf I've got these great baskets that I got from Ikea. I haven't been able to find them again um, on Ikea. I don't know if they've just stopped doing them um, I've seen all the other elements that are part of it, it's called the Fintorp range and so I've seen like the bars and all of that stuff that they hang off because these are actually designed to hang off um, those bars that you would have seen on my overview video and they're 
very heavy when they're full. Um, and in it, I've put these spice jars, and I think they come in packs of three or four, I can't quite remember. And in them, I've just put different embellishments. So in this one, each each um, basket has kind of got a theme to a certain extent. This one we've got sort of um, sparkly things really. Um, different beads and glittery bits, but sort of bigger glittery bits and bigger quantities. So that's stars and stuff like that there. And then next door we've got buttons so this is all buttons now you'll notice there's an odd jar because that came in these came in that jar and I thought well it's pretty handy to just leave them so just fun I love these little clouds so just a different variety of those and really handy to store in and I love the fact that you've got the jars and then you can just lift the basket down as it is and so then in this one we've got all different wooden shapes so we've got some cute little um leaves with and um, ladybirds and things on and then in this one we've got the ladybirds but just sort of individual little baby ones and then we've got some little bugs and all sorts in there um, tortoises and hedgehogs really cute and flowers so all different wooden embellishments so that's a completely different look and then Christmas wooden ones so then in these next two um, baskets we've got all my brads um, now that's just slightly raised up because of this basket here so we've got silver brads gold brads colored sort of button brads and stuck brads <laughs> big designer brads I would call those really and then this one is all the coloured brads some fabric ones here so these are a lot of those would be my um, basic greys that I tend to have those quite noisy when you put them back and then different coloured ones here and the same again at the back so this is the pinks but they're very similar in green and yellow and blue and etc um, in those jars behind and then in this one which is slightly hidden behind this, this sentiment from my mum a uh, park thing but I'll try and bring it forward so you can see um, we've got I can't unhook that one very well we've got some gems just odds and ends really on here so we've got gems or crystal gems um, I think the same behind again and then some little googly eyes um, metal embellishments so all different metal ones in there so you can see that these are very versatile as to what they'll take and then you know, behind coloured gems so the same but coloured so really nice helpful storage I really liked those and I liked the fact that they were in the baskets because it just allow me to make them look neat if you had those all on the shelf just loose I think it would look nice but you would be constantly trying to straighten like individual ones etc and so having them in the basket I found it really handy just to keep things tidy so then on the same theme really with the baskets we have some down at the end of the desk here so let me just grab you off the tripod again because I think that's the only way we're going to do this one so here 
is the end of the desk so you know there's the cricket etc so then at the end you may recall in the overview video I showed you that there was the bar at the end and at this end um, there's a lot of wireage at the end there from the different machines but there was some more two more baskets and then on the desk itself I've just added um, there's one more of those jars now this is something that I use more frequently and that's my stick pins so I've just popped those in the jar or tub um, the same as those other ones but a small version it's really cute with the little sunflowers and I've just popped that in that um, deflecto unit there so that's this section so now let's move on to the next bit so the next place that I've got some embellishments is here in the calyx inside the buckets as I call them these fabric baskets I guess um, and, or boxes I don't really I think they call them boxes at Ikea but anyway I call them buckets and buckets they will be so let's start off with the flowers because I think they'll be the easier one to look at so right down at the bottom here I have my bucket with the flowers in so as you can see I've got some boxes and these have got a few odds and ends like these berry type things in there I've got some of the loose paper flowers so that's my sort of mixed patterned ones and then we've got black flowers and glittered flowers and then in the slightly larger plastic boxes which I really like these ones I've got some white flowers paper flowers in colour and then silk flowers and in the bottom here sort of 3D paper flowers so then for the flowers themselves I've got these plastic I think they're almost like beauty bags that you use for when you're traveling or whatever and they came in a couple of different sizes so I got all three sizes because for the different things that I needed it worked out well so I got a couple of the large ones because so I had a lot of the reds and the pinks here and obviously a lot of white because you'll always have a lot of white then we had the middle size which is quite a jump down so we've got sort of pinky lilac -y pink then pinky pink slightly different then cerisi pinks and lilacs and you can see you can get an awful lot in here they're holding them really nice and clean they're protecting them they're not getting squashed you might think or oh, not in boxes but actually it's really nice because I can see and when I go in I can go in and I can get into the little bits that I want really easy and just grab the individual ones because I can see them whereas in a box you kind of lose that and then we've got the smaller ones so I've got some purpley blue ones in the smaller one but actually it's very much wider so you still get quite a lot in there then we've got leaves and sort of odds and ends like that sort of early bits and things and put mostly leaves and then at the bottom blues I try as much as possible to kind of put it in the right sort of bag as well so different blues and some really nice flowers here and then we've got the yellow ones and then peaches browns and beautiful greens so that is the box with all the flowers and as you can see there's actually an awful lot like this Daisy <laughs> there's an awful lot in there and you can store an awful lot sorry the little nose there she wants to be involved in this particular shot Daisy say hello say hello anyway so that is a really great and I love the way that they're stored in those bags because they were cheap and cheerful frankly I think they're colorful and it's fun but more importantly 
they're protecting and keeping the flowers clean because they're all lightweight they're not going to unless you shove them in they're not going to get squashed or anything and actually paper flowers are pretty resilient and you get an awful lot in each bag and yet you can see them all I mean if you look at those white ones you can see pretty much all the designs that are in that all types of flowers that are in that bag um, especially if you go the other side as well and then you can just dive your hand in and pull a couple out and it doesn't really mess anything out, up at all if you're careful and it's just great I found it really working well for me and as you can see an awful lot in one box so then we've got another one of these black buckets up the top um, and in here we have got an awful lot of yummy embellishments so we've got here a box full of pearls I love these boxes um, these are very easy to get hold of this particular one is a5 but as I say you can get these um, you can get a4 or so so that's a box with pearls and then I can't I'm not even going to attempt to open this one because there's so much in there so in this box we've got all sorts I mean look all along here all packets of you've seen me use them um pearls and my dazzlers you've seen me use those a lot I've got the pearl adhesive and this is just jam packed I love these boxes as well these are the um this is a three litre transparent pink apparently but these again I think I got these in Hobbycraft and even with the you think oh that's where it comes to but then you can stuff a load on top which is why I'm not opening it because if you open it you'll know, it's like it's so difficult it's all right when I'm on my desk because I can easily deal with it but when it's here it's not so easy so then I've got here as you can see we've got a box here that's got sort of metal embellishments and um all different ones so we've got uh sort of different like that's dragons and we've got a multi-box one so all different metal ones there then I've got some little glass uh, beads uh, so, uh, bottles even try and get the right word um, in there some little bottles and some little metal odds and ends in there and um, again just metal bits so it's all metal really in that one and then here we've got these great a whole box of these in different colours those lovely pearl strings I love those and again just you can see just how much you can pack into these this is all my foil this is for glue foil that you know not for hot foil so all different foils in there then we've got a box of odds and ends so this is sort of sparkly stuff at the bottom that you might have seen on my Instagram post that I did a little video that short Instagram video of some card and it included some of this um, doilies as well um, again you can get an awful lot in diff um, gems there and uh, some lovely kind of meshy Sort of stuff there I can't think what that's it's just lovely sort of like a ribbon almost but mesh it's like um, gauze stuff that you put on your cards for like when you're doing shabby chic and it's really cool but I never remember the names of it so there's all sorts in there and you saw the lovely mesh and stuff bits of odds and ends really for that kind of thing um, sort of fabric -y things even though the doilies are paper and again look how deep we're going there's still loads more in here as I said to you when you can be surprised just how much these buckets hold and especially if you put the storage into boxes and things like this it's really easy to get to them whereas if you had them just kind of 
everything piled up you'd never find it again um, you'd get in a real muddle I think but whereas by putting them in boxes even though you might think oh god I'd get really confused with all these boxes but actually it's not difficult because you kind of get to know where everything is and then you can easily you know sort it so then in this one we've just got some beads and bits and pieces for making um, stick pins and stuff so that's that one and then these are my um, wobblers and my magnetic fasteners sort of things like that that are kind of helpful and then down the side here I've just got a random couple of sheets of these Diet Montes because I just didn't have anywhere else to put them and I didn't want to obviously break the packing up because it's quite helpful being on those sheets and then here I've got little wood bits and then in here we've got uh, little sort of crystals type pearl type thing so more um, gemmy things but yeah so I think I don't know if there's actually gems in here no this is so these are these sort of see-through type ones like this where they're see-through with crystal on and then I did just pop in the end here because there was space my um, pearl that was on a string like that because it just worked and then my mirror sheet as well and this box it was um, a gift box of something and I just thought isn't that cool so that was just a freebie that I've had for ages it's one of those boxes it's a bit like my mum's Chanel boxes I use those when she my dad gets a Chanel for her birthday and um it always comes in beautiful Chanel box and I always keep that if I can if she doesn't want it to put something in um usually in my room not in my craft so here we've got I'm not even going to open this because it'd be a nightmare but we've got in here all my gems that are on packages not on loose so these are literally um round gems square gems any kind of shape gem and all sorts of colours which is why those other ones are down the side there it's just that there wasn't the space and then these down here are these thinner boxes really helpful and these have got all my pearl swirls in different and in corners and then more pearl swirls type thing that's falling apart and then gems that are on those sticky lengths which are really helpful and then the same here these are like um, these are like metal like little rivets and then little snow ball type ones as well so they're in there so again a heck of a lot of embellishments in one bucket so that is that section so then there's just one more part to my embellishments and that's the drawers i bet you've been wondering what's in the drawers okay so let's go over there okay so over at this section of my lodge at the end of these calax units what we did was we added in the drawer units you can purchase drawer units that are, can be just added and they have proved very useful for storing embellishments now this top section so you get sorry by the way you get two drawers in each cubby so the top one is not relevant to what we're doing today but further down we have got drawers full of yumminess so in these drawers I've got all different kinds of little embellishments so in this instance um, I've got here a one of those lovely Lernix um, small drawers which I put just wanted to separate these ones off from the others so I've popped those in and in there we've got these lovely glass beads on top here and this originally wasn't what I was going to be doing but I actually added these boxes they lock up and they're pretty secure not 100% I wouldn't ideally turn them upside down but they're reasonably okay and these are my gorgeous sequins and we've got a second box here and then inside 
what we've got and what these are in are these cute miniature jam jars and these are these you buy them empty from ebay or amazon and again with everything i will put links to all of these um storage items not the actual craft in this videos but all of the storage stuff all of the things as best as i'm able and i've spent ages trying to find it all for you guys so hopefully it will be of help to you um and i've put it on the links at the bottom of my blog post it was so much on a lot of them it won't go on the youtube paragraph so you need to if you're on youtube uh, click open the show more on the paragraph below this video and then you'll see a link to the blog post that goes with the video and on that blog post once you've clicked that link it'll take you to the blog post and on that blog post you'll find all the links to things like these little jars so, what we've got here is these miniature jam jars these are actually an uh 45 gram or is it mil? I um, can't remember for 45 anyway, um, not the 30. I accidentally got some 30s and they are quite a bit smaller. They're okay. Um, I've used them for these. Aren't these beautiful? I've used them for these and it's okay, but I'm, I actually prefer the slightly bigger one. It just works that bit better. And things like um, I've got here my um, Flower Soft and just odd things like little bells and random bits and pieces so i've got some of the smaller ones here that have got some of these glitter shapes in for example so they just went in there okay but other than those few i've still got a few of them left obviously um i've gone for the bigger size because i found that better and they're just really helpful and as you see i'm storing them face down do be cautious when you do that because you know the lid can come undone and if you didn't have them this way up you just would be constantly checking you know picking them up turning them over to see what anything is so as long as you make sure each time you'll be fine it's not like they're moving around as you can see the drawer is jammed and you can also see we've got one two three uh, six across by one two three it's seven rows so it's what 42 um, in each drawer so that's a heck of a lot that you can fit in and so here we've got all different kind of pearls and gem mixes in in colors so what I had was kind of odds and ends that were left over so we've got little bows little um, just random things really and I just pop them all in one pot and then we've got different sequin mixes here that these are pre-made by the company that sells them and they've just her name's eluding me right now um but they're really nice i really like those and now in the next drawer we have various sort of different shapes doesn't it look pretty when you open it up um and so we've got like stars and hearts and just different things here little beads sort of um foil sort of loose foily sort of flaky bits uh and i say different bouillon beads in all different colors so those are like those crystal beads that sue wilson uses here they are in the clear but i've got them in all sorts of colors as well which is kind of cool so that's that drawer and then oh my god isn't that just so gorgeous so this is glitters but this is um flakes uh strands even try that word if you can catch that so so sparkly and such pretty colors and i think yeah i think we've got some dots as well you might catch it on the side there so those are dots and strands but i've actually not worried about what shape they were i don't think i've just done it in colors sort of like this is a drawer full of sort of glitter pieces rather than glitter if that makes sense and then these bottom two drawers are proper traditional glitter the fine regular glitter a beautiful colors absolutely gorgeous 
and you can see you know you can it's pretty good and it's nice and full but it's just about the right amount from and then the bottom drawer here with the last bits and I use this a lot actually glitters for things like my shaker cards I do like making a shaker card so that is all my embellishments and how I store them I mean as I say it was a little bit of a broad stroke as to what counts as an embellishment but I hope in any event that you found it of use and that you've enjoyed taking a look at how I've done my storage for these items and also taking a peek at the actual crafty stash as well so thank you so much for watching and I will hope to see you again for some more of the videos that are coming up and don't forget to watch the introductory overview video to get a general look at the whole lodge so thank you so much for watching and I will see you again soon bye <laughs>